This start has failed big. The announcement of the merger of Lucid Motors with the special purpose acquisition company SPEC for short, Churchill Capital causes disillusionment among investors on Wall Street. The price of the listed shell collapsed by over 40%. What happened and what are the future plans of Lucid Motors? And if you should invest, I will explain in this video, so stay tuned and stick to the end. Hi folks, this is Bjorn from Become Financially Independent, where I will help you to understand more about finance so you can make sound financial decisions by yourself. But enough talking and let's start. On Wednesday afternoon, the shares held ready for Lucid Motors went down by almost 7% to $32.85, which is 42% in the last two meetings. Before the deal was announced, CCIV shares had risen over 470% since January 11th, hitting a record high of 64.86 on February 18th. Just last week, I suggested that I wouldn't be surprised if this ended up being a buy the rumor, sell the news situation. That refers to a common phenomenon in the market when an event fails to live up to the expectations. Here's why investors may be disappointed in the deal. So even new market analyst from the monthly fool. According to Neil, valuation concerns also led to the huge sell-off. At a closing price of around $57 before the announcement, Lucid's implied market capitalization would be an incredible $91 billion even though the company has not yet delivered a single car, said the expert. The US electric car maker Lucid Motors announced in the press release on Tuesday that it is going public with Georgia Capital, SPAC, which is managed by former Citigroup manager Michael Klein. The acquisition by CCIV is expected to be completed in the second quarter of this year. The transaction values the new company at 11.75 billion. CCIV brings 2.1 billion in cash and a fully committed pipe of 2.5 billion at $15 per share, which should give the combined company an overall valuation of 24 billion. With the pipe transaction and Churchill Cash Lucid Motors is expected to generate 4.4 billion in cash, the two parties said. The pipe deal where the investors involved get their shares for $15 was also of the reason CCIV stock has been so badly damaged in the past 24 hours. Ultimately, this dilutes the shares of the previous CCIV investors. As soon as the deal goes through in the second quarter, investors should turn their attention from the merger structure to whether the electric cars manufactured by Lucid Motors are competitive in the automotive industry, said even new. So, but what are the plans for Lucid Motors? The company plans to start production of its first model, the Lucid Air, this year, which will compete with the Tesla Model S as well as the luxury cars from BMW, Mercedes, and Audi. And nobody is mentioning NIO, which in my eyes can be fatal. And why? That I will explain in my conclusion later. However, the price ranges from $70,000 to $160,000, depending on the vision. Lucid is aiming for sales of 20,000 vehicles in the coming year and a large SUV off-road vehicle is to be added in 2023, which we will build on the same technical platform. By 2026, the company plans to sell 250,000 vehicles annually and generate around 23 billion in sales. The plant in the US state of Arizona is designed to produce 365,000 vehicles per year. And there is a lot of Tesla in Lucid. 
than the lucid boss Peter Rawlinson once played a central role at Tesla in the development of the Model S. He will remain at the top even after going public. Lucid's management team includes as well several former Tesla managers such as production expert Peter Hocholdinger who once moved from Audi to Elon Musk company. But means all of this that this company is a buy? Well, if you want to buy the dip and you have confidence in the company itself and in the CEO, maybe. But now we come to the most important point, what others not seeing while they are hyping Lucid Motors. Or at least I haven't seen anybody so far who does. Neo, which will be the next in-depth analysis I will upload, will present their quarterly numbers next week. And they are doing the exact same and are already attacking the luxury market. And they actually already building cars. And the next to it, they are building a luxury brand with their neo houses and many other things. And they already expanded in Europe. And the US for sure will be the next. What I actually want to say with that is that the market is highly competitive already and there are already big players outside. So for me, as I'm already heavily invested in BYD and if you want to check out the full analysis of BYD, I link it up here. But be aware, they went down 20% as well right now. And for not to overweight my portfolio in the electric car makers and losing my diversification, I will not invest in Lucid Motors. But that is just me. But if you want to buy, consider what I said before that the market is already crowded and Lucid Motors attacks the same market as NEO and has the disadvantage that they actually not even building cars yet. So it's hard to predict who will be the winner of all of them, right? But if you bought already shares, I would hold them as I hope you did your research prior and not just invested because of the hype. And therefore you trust in the company and in the CEO. But let me know in the comment box below what you ladies and gentlemen think. That being said, nobody can predict the future to 100%, except your name is Marty and you have a DeLorean. Hence, everything can happen, but I hope I could help. And if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the future videos. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching, focus and don't get greedy. See you next time.